Hello. Hello. You're probably shocked that you're still subscribed to me. I know I am. This video is just to update you from the title. We're gonna talk about that in a bit, just hold on. Let me just catch you up to date and what I've been doing in the last six months. So my last video was my New York vlog, which was back in April, but I went to New York back in January. As soon as we left New York and came back home, that's when, you know, hit New York. So I, we were very lucky. And then normal lives. And then we started getting cases where my job was at. And I started getting nervous. I was like, oh my God, you know? My manager basically sent out the link to unemployment. I was like, hey, if you guys are too nervous to work, let us know, here's the link. My mom has a weak immune system and I have a weak heart. So I was like, deuces, haven't looked back since. And then I was going to school. In March, everything moved to online, which I hated. It was really hard for me, but we got through it, barely. And then guess what came along? Anxiety, yeah. Yeah, like a whole lot. And on top of that, I was in a bit of a funk. I'm not gonna call it depression. I'm gonna call it a funk. But we got through it. I'm doing better now, if you can't tell. I feel amazing. I look amazing. Let's keep this amazingness uh, ball rolling. Let's talk about my career because honestly, it's taking um, a turn by the last few weeks, so pretty excited about that yes the title I know I'm well aware hold on we're getting there we're getting there so about a year ago I even uploaded it you can see it right here the link is down below um, I filmed something where I was just a background actor I was just a paramedics no lines I knew that they were doing a part two I just didn't know the paramedics would be back or that I would even be brought back but lo and behold they brought me back but this time I have a line so I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, 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 like, that's so cool. I went up there four hours away, and I don't want to sound like stingy, but I wanted more than a line. I really did. I, cause I know I can, I know, like I can, you know, deliver. And I heard that they were ad libbing on set. Ad libbing is when like you don't really stick to the script. You're just gonna like add stuff. I told um my partner, I was like, hey, look. I want more than one line. I'm sure you do. I heard they've been ad-libbing on set. So if you're down to ad-lib, I'm down to ad-lib. But we might get cut for the film. Is that cool with you? Such a team player. She was like, yeah, like I'm down. I'm like, all right, cool. This is what we're gonna do. She loved it, super easy to work with. Then it came down to um, actually doing it. And I was really nervous because I don't wanna piss people off. I know if I wrote a script a certain way, I wrote that script a certain way for a reason. Say my lines as such, you know? So we got into our places and right before they said action, I was like, I told the director, I was like, hey, um, can I make a joke? And then he was like, yeah, go for it. I'm like, <laughs> and uh, Alondra, she was like, are we gonna do this? I'm like, just as we practice. And then bam, we did it, they loved it. And they, someone mentioned something about a spinoff. They're like, oh, people, someone's trying to get a spinoff. I'm like, I sure am, I sure am. And then before I left set, they're like, wow, like we're actually thinking about like a possible spinoff for the paramedics. I was like, what? What? I went to set with the line and I left with a possible spinoff. I mean, that's pretty awesome right there. So hopefully that goes good. Uh, I'm not gonna get my hopes up because you never know. And then literally seven days later, I started production on my own show. I know. Yes, the title. Yes, we're finally here. Thank you for being patient. About three weeks ago, this all happened really fast. Like, I can't even lie. A bit too fast, in my opinion, but you just gotta roll with the punches. Ricky brought up the opportunity to me. He was like, hey, um, like, would you be down for to do this to help out? And I was just gonna be like another hands on deck. Like, I was just gonna be like, like another writer. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, but hear me out. What if we do this instead? He was like, okay, I love that, that's cool. Let me send that to um, Citric. This is him. You might know him as Big Citric on Instagram. Or you might even recognize him from Lopez. Diamonds that spell out San Fernando. Wow, San Fernando is a big word. It's actually, uh, it's two words. 
It's cool though, if you get someone to beat down, they'll have San Fernando marked all over their face. So, uh, how much are we talking about? Yeah, me working with him. I wrote a show about, okay, we'll get, we'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. So then, um, he sent it over to Citric. He liked the idea. Um, he loved the idea, from my, from my knowledge. So then I wrote three episodes, and we started production. Um, now we're just waiting for the clips to get done, um, edited. And then hopefully they like them, and then we can resume production on the rest of the series. Fingers crossed, big Citrix, big break. Written by me. <laughs> That's crazy. I honestly can't believe it. And then after that, um, I've just been doing some more auditions, uh, trying to, you know, break out. And then, yeah, I just had some auditions. I actually did one yesterday that I need to send in. Here's a clip. That's what's been going on in my life. Uh, thank you guys for watching and not unsubscribing. And, um, you know, who knows? You might see me tomorrow. You're not gonna see me tomorrow. You might see me later this week though, but not tomorrow for sure. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below how you've been and just, you know, holding up during this whole pandemic. And uh, before you go, I just have one last message. Wear your masks and vote. And I will see you guys uh, pretty soon. Okay. Adios.